Here I am at the front of 829 Misty Pines Circle. Three car garage up front. I got Aspens in the front. And I do want to point out before I circle the neighborhood, this didn't show up in the Google Earth view, but they've got a rolling curb, which you could easily drive over. And they graveled a section on the side wheel. Looks like pretty good RV parking. Not perfectly level, but I think it'll do the job. Anyway, I'm doing a backward circle, sorry. There's a little private cul-de-sac across the street. Kids playing in their yard. And so, driveway looks like it's in pretty good shape, maintained. There was a crack and they sealed it. It looks like a stucco-like exterior. I think it's a synthetic stucco with the insulation board. And here's the front door. Here's another view of the rear of the home. I'm willing to bet that this mulch stops at the property line. And it looks like there's a gate to get into. There's maybe a common area in the middle, with in the middle of all these pine trees. Everybody seems to have fences that don't intersect back here. Hard to tell. Actually, second thought, can't really tell at all. We may have to look at some plots. But anyway, it gives you an idea of uh, the setting. I can see this pipe coming out of the window well. That looks like a radon mitigation system is already installed. and You can ask about it and I can tell you everything I know. So, Anyway, let's go inside. I decided to check the side of the house before I went in and we can also see the back. They have a little gravel path here. There it looks like there's plumbing for sprinkler system. I haven't seen any heads yet, but they may be here. A little piece of deer poo. And there's the back deck and backyard. Here's the front door. Looks like a fiberglass door. It's insulated. We have tile on the entry. Updated lamp, very nice. We have a vault ceiling, open floor plan. So it looks like we have a gas fireplace in the living room. Access to the outside and rear deck right here. Very peaceful and scenic. Here's the dining area, kitchen with an island, a little bar area, and this tile floor as well. Pantry, they left it open so we can see inside. They don't want me touching anything in here hardly so. I will honor that. There's the other end of the living room. There's a laundry here. Access to the garage. And looks like a little Extra deep on the double door and standard depth on the single door side. I got some shelving storage. And now looks like we have a main level master.
walk-in closet with two sides double rack on the right single on the left and the bath area soaker tub and it does have separate shower and a private room for the water closet walking back out the master through the living room there's an open stairway here which is nice here's another bedroom average size I'd have to check dimensions it might be 10 by 12 paint seems to be in pretty good shape I don't know if you saw the ceiling fan in here and light Here's a second bedroom. Carpet looks like it's been cleaned professionally by the stroke patterns in it. It actually feels very comfortable under my feet. Here's a full bath. oak cabinet with a on tile the finish is a little worn on the oak but that's easily remedied we have a linen closet which is also storage for the bath all right let's go downstairs Stairs, wall sconce, carpet looks really nice. So here we have the main family room. It's quite big. Nice low deep window wells. Looks like they've got some built-in wiring for entertainment system here. So they made this a home theater. There's nice lighting in the coffer going around. Here we have a bedroom and it's conforming, it has egress. And three-quarter bath. Looks to be in good shape. Similar tile as before. And we have another bedroom. They're using it as a home office. They've got the coffee maker right here. I think all that's left on this level is the utility room. Let's take a peek at it. Oh, and they got surround speakers with wiring too. Just noticed. So it's newer construction. I can tell by the insulated foundation. So there's storage here. Looks like we've got centralized wiring system. There's a sump pit, so in case you get any water on the foundation, it will pump it out. And a date of 823.17 on the water heater. There's your main water line coming in with its meter. Standard efficiency on the furnace. One thing is there's very few homes in this area have air conditioning because it doesn't get terribly hot. But 
this one has a built-in humidistat so in the winter time when it gets dry it can add moisture to the whole house so there it is